Hi, I'm Doug Mayhew. I'm here with uh, Julian Chablais He's in town from France. And uh, Julian is a Java and .NET developer. He's done some work with OpenXML we're going to talk about. Uh, Julian was here this week for the MVP Summit. And coincidentally, we had an OpenXML workshop this week. So we had Julian come over and uh, show off some of the things he's been doing. Now, Julian, I know uh, you work in both worlds, uh, .NET and Java. In the .NET world, we have a packaging API that everybody uses. Um, I understand in the Java world, you've created a, a similar experience for developers as what they have in .NET. I mean, tell us a little bit about how that works and how you approach that. Yeah, I think it's important for uh, for people, for developers who have a similar API, uh, the same that uh, Microsoft provides to uh, edit, to manipulate open XML documents. And uh, so I, I clone, I, I made a similar API with the same classes, uh, same, some similar uh, methods, and uh, I'll show you some uh, Very good, so this, demo. Is, this is going to be, you have basically cloned Microsoft's packaging API, yeah. so that in Java you can call it, I assume you haven't done 100% of the API, but kind of the, the key things that people use the most. Yeah, the key, key thing. Very good. Uh, for example, uh, this first demo, uh, it's exactly the same as in .NET. Exactly, so like package.open looks very familiar to me. That's code yeah. I'm used to seeing in a, in a .NET the application. The static method that open an open XML document. Uh, the only difference here is the syntax is with a, all in a low case. Oh, uh -huh. yes, yeah. yes. That's a the subtle difference. Diff yeah. So, um, I will run the code, and here we are. We are. We have retrieved the main part of the document, okay. and we display the content type. So, so here you're going getting simple. get relationships by type, just like yeah. in the .NET API. Exactly. Very good. It's the same, uh, but I also added some classes, some method, uh, and for example. In the in this uh, demo, uh, you can get the core property of a document. So you can retrieve the creator of the document, the title, for example, the subject. Uh, Great. So you have you have methods here that do what yeah. in the .NET world you'd use the packaging API, and then also in addition have to write yeah. an XPath or something to get at these. Yeah. For Very example, we uh, run. The demo, oops, not this one. This one, yeah. I retrieve the core property of the document. Oh. Looks like it was written by a Latin guy. Yeah. Originally, this is a property, so we are sure this is the same. Yes, yes, okay. Okay. So, can retrieve this demo in the previous demo. You can retrieve the property, and this one can set the property. Nice it's very it. simple. It's you uh, you retrieve the core property here, and you set uh, property. Very simple. We we need this in the .NET world too. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now we can see uh, that to save a document here with the docx.save mm -hmm. uh, method, and here is the document with my property. Okay, for example, just is the same. It's very straight straightforward to do this. Yes, okay. Here is a more complex demo, but it's very simple. Uh, it's to show how it's simple to add paragraph to a document. So we we built some a paragraph builder first, mm -hmm. and we add some paragraph. And inside each paragraph, we add some run. Yeah, it's first one hello office. And for each uh, run, you specify specific property here in bold, in italic. Uh, very Some nice. Something like that, yeah. It looks a little bit like uh, like programming against the word object model in the yeah, past. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's the same concepts. 
Yeah, so you, you add run, you add paragraph to your document, mm -hmm. finally save it. So you have this paragraph builder, you build all the XML that makes yeah. up a paragraph node, and then you just append a paragraph to your document. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First close the document. Okay. Now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Very good. Yeah. Very simple. How old is this uh, few line of code? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and by comparison, um, if you don't have tools like this, you're, you're writing a lot of code to generate open XML yeah, these days. A lot. Yes. A lot. So for uh, final demo. In the previous demo, we have only add uh, some paragraph, and here I will add a table. We include a table. Uh, oh, so it's you very have a table easy. object. Yeah, as well. a table object, table row object. We had we had some some run, and we open the cells, so cells run, etc. It's it's very easy. Yeah, few lines of code. So run this demo. Yeah. Close first the document and run it. So now we have our table here and we can change the design. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah just so as if you table. created the uh, the table yeah. in Word itself. And just with a few line of code. Very That's nice. Cool. Now, no. now this uh, so this API we're looking at, this is your project, an open source project that you've yeah, started. Absolutely. And uh, it, it's kind of interesting to me. I deal with many people who are doing open XML development. Uh, many of them are Microsoft partners or even Microsoft vendors or others we have a business relationship with. Um, you're just uh, an individual in France. Yeah. Uh, I was in Paris last year. I remember when you and I first met, and I heard you wanted to come talk to me, and I thought, oh, okay, maybe this guy wants Microsoft to invest in his company or his idea or something. And I, I was very uh, amused by your reaction when we were talking and, and you said, no, I don't want, my, Microsoft should have nothing to do with this. This should be a community effort. Yeah. And, uh, and so I understand you're trying to build that community now. You've been talking to a bunch of other people who are working with OpenXML, looking at how to collaborate and add things to this. Uh, maybe can you talk briefly about what are, what are some of the cool things you might like to add in the future to this? Yeah. Firstly, I really like to implement 100% of the OPC uh, specification first. Mm -hmm. For me, uh, I think it's the most important thing first to do first. So that you've got that common baseline between .NET yeah. and Java that you yeah. build on uh, top of. Yeah, and after uh, to build a document level API to like uh, I have show you uh, to add paragraph to a table. Uh, mm -hmm. And for word processing ML documents, batch HTML document, and presentation presentation ML documents, so so lots of work. Yes. Uh, but I think with uh, some people, uh, if some people want to join uh, us in this project, uh, we could do. Now you, um, I assume thing. your blog will uh, will be covering this as it evolves. Yeah. Um, how do we get to your blog? How do we uh, um, keep track of what's yeah. going on here? You can. Uh, this is my the blog. Save the document. Well, so of course you're going to uh, first, generate an open XML yeah. document with your blog, you know? First, close and this is my blog. Very good. Yeah. So, blogsdeveloper.org Neo Dante. Yeah. So. Did, I, did I say that right? Okay, well, appreciate you taking the time today, Julian. I know uh, there's going to be some exciting things going on with this in the next yeah, few I'm weeks sure. or months. Uh, I'd imagine this probably isn't the last time we'll talk about it, so I look forward to uh, hearing what changes and what you come up with. I will pray. Thanks. Thanks.